بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال فمن ربكما يا موسى قال ربنا الذي أعطى كل شيء خلقه ثم هدى قال فما قال القرون الأولى قال علمها عند ربي في كتاب لا يضل ربي ولا ينسى الذي جعل لكم الأرض مهدا وسلك لكم فيها سبلا وأنزل من السماء ماء فأخرجنا به أزواجا من نبات شتى كلوا وارعوا أنعامكم إن في ذلك لآيات لأولنها منها خلقناكم وفيها نعيدكم ومنها نخرجكم تارة أخرى ولقد أريناه آياتنا كلها فكذب وأبى قال أجئتنا لتخرجنا من أرضنا بسحرك يا موسى فلنأتينك بسحر مثله فجعل بيننا وبينك موعدا لا نخلفه نحن ولا أنت مكانا سوى قال موعدكم يوم الزينة وأن يحشر الناس ضحا فتولى فرعون فجمع كيده ثم أتى قال لهم موسى ويلكم لا تفتروا على الله كذبا فيسحتكم فيسحتكم بعذاب وقد خاب من افترى فتنازعوا أمرهم بينهم وأسروا النجوى قالوا إن هذان لساحران يريدان أن يخرجاكم من أرضكم بسحرهما ويذهبا بطريقتكم المحلى زك الله خير أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نستعين ولا حول لنا ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم رب شرى لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رباه لا تعذبني فإني مكر بالذي قد كان مني وما لي حيلة إلا رجائي لأفك عفوت وحزن ظني فكم من زلتي لي في القطايا عضدت أنامي وقرأت سني يظن الناس بي خيرا فإني لشر الخلق إن لم تافعني يا رب اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وجنده وحزبه ومن دعا بدعوته وجاهد بجهاده واستنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين We give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise Him, we glorify Him Almighty We pray for more blessing and peace And benediction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala To be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam His household, his companions And those who follow their path Till the day of judgment I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to include us among the beneficiaries of uh, this month most especially the beneficiaries of 
the night of Laylat al-Qadr, insha'Allah. Yesterday, we talk about Anayb Musa alayhi salatu salam and Fir'aun. I narrated his kissa, that is story, when he left Madiana, and I say Madiana is around Saudi Arabia area. There's distance between Madiana and Tabuk, which are about uh, 170 kilometers. And uh, Musa moved from that Madian to Egypt. When he was going back to Egypt, with his family, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the post of prophethood. And he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directed him to frown after he has already asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give his brother Arun prophethood. He said, I want my brother Arun also to be a prophet and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted his request. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Now you have to go to Pharaoh's palace. We have to go there and deliver message. And Musa was afraid somehow because he left because Musa left Madiana. He was going back to Egypt, not for Pharaoh. His own mission is to go and see his mother and his own relatives. But Allah said that there is something that is uh, higher and bigger than that. What we need from you is that you have to go and deliver a message to Pharaoh. To Pharaoh. And Musa uh, Salaam Salam deliver that message to Pharaoh by calling him and asking him to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the same time he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directed Musa alayhi salatu wasalam and Harun to use soft words if they want to talk to Pharaoh they should talk to him politely if they want to preach to Pharaoh they should preach to Pharaoh in a in a good way and when Musa talked to Pharaoh and called Pharaoh to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he should stop claiming to be Allah's prophet and his messenger and to be uh, this in the greatest Lord he asked he told Musa he said Kala fama rab, fama ya Musa. where is your Lord two of you Which, me I'm claiming to be greatest Lord and now you are telling me that there is another Lord who is that Lord who is that Lord Allah, he said, "Rabbuna alladhi aata kulla shayin khalqahu fa thumma hada." And this is a greatest balaga. That is very, very comprehensive because you know Allah. He said, "Who is your Lord?" He said it in a uh, to mock at this time of Musa and Harun that the Father of Bukhwaya Musa, who is your your Lord? And I Musa said, 
ربنا الذي أعطى كل شيء خلقه ثم هدا our Lord is the one that created everything including you here for all ثم هدا and he guided people he has guided many people and he is still guiding he guides جل جلاله قال فما بال القرون الأولى قال فما بال القرون الأولى he said what of the if you are telling me about Allah now tell me that he is our creator and he created everything what of the people that have died since what happened to them did not did not know resurrection no any accountability and they are telling me that uh, there is your, your God no no I don't believe in that God and then Musa replied to Pharaoh that is قال علمها إن دا ربي الله has detail about them the account he has every the record for them قال علمها إن دا فيك إن دا ربي في كتاب الله has already documented everything recorded everything in his own book in detail لا يدل ربي ولا ينسى لا يدل ربي ولا ينسى that is Allah سبحانه وتعالى will never forget it and he can never لا يدل he can never make this a mistake concerning that record and he can never forget it Allah Akbar Arabi Musa moved on on he said that Allah Jalla Lakum Al Ard of Imahada is Allah that has spread this act for you people you use it to farm, you use it to build your house, you use it to build your house or offices, you do many things on it. Mahadad. Before it wasn't like this. Wasala kala kunfiya subula and he created many ways on the edge. There is ways of railway, the one of moto, the one of uh, the same motorable way, and there is one up again on the air. Allah Akbar. Allah SWT created everything to get what? To acquire wealth. Acquire this thing, wealth. So that now we can travel from Nigeria to Dubai for business, from Dubai to UK. Some people in a week we just mo will be moving. From Dubai to UK, UK to France to Paris to US, that's Singapore. That's the way you'll be moving on the hay. Allah Akbar. And we give you people water from Sama. That is the rain. The way Allah SWT is normally give us in Nigeria. And it will even reach a level that we say is too much. In Saudi Arabia, in a year, rain may not fall more than one time or two times. And we see them rejoicing. Have you ever seen a family man rejoicing and because rain fall here in Nigeria? If we would do that, I say, oh, he doesn't have mental problem. Is it okay? Because it's common. Like the way if you me now, if it's this allergy now, and then I slaughter this maybe a ram for me. A ram. How everybody will survive that it will kill ram for me. But in Saudi Arabia is normal. You just visit your friend who will kill a ram for you. But here the same thing, rain is falling. Almost. It will reach a level on, on daily basis. Everyone. وَأَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَا أَمْ فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجَ مِنْ نَبَاتِ شَتَى وَأَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَا أَنْ فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجَ مِنْ نَبَاتِ شَتَى And we are giving you people water from, from Samar 
فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِي أَزْوَاجَ And we are using that sama or that water to bring many things from this earth. Allah Akbar. You put one corn or one maize, it will give you how many? Just one or two. Allah SWT said, مِنْ نَبَاتِ شَتَّى We are giving you different types of uh, there is fruit, there is corn, there is maize, there are many things, there are vegetables. We are the one we are giving you. The same age coming out. Allah SWT says, Kulu, eat. What are and I'm, eat whatever you like to eat, anything that you want. If you want to eat yam, eat beans, rice, swag. We want to take different types of fruit, banana, orange, grape, strawberry, anything that you want to take, take. Allah wa ta'ala is a blessing. And each, it will give you, I'm telling you, energy. And it makes you to be very, very healthy. Most especially banana. If you take banana for sahur, mashallah. You will not feel that fasting for that day. It will give you energy, serious one. And no testing, no anything. It's Allah. And if you take orange, uh -uh, after the sahur, you will, you will realize it. Kulu wara anamakum and give your animals also some. Like we, we don't take, we take some leaves. We call it vegetable. It's the same leaf now. And they call it our own vegetable. But the one of animals, of cow, is it just ordinary leaf. It's the same thing. Green. But the one that we use it is a vegetable. Why well, you can tell anybody that I, I'm just taking leaves? Yes? Allah SWT, there is one also. It's not for you. But it's for your animals. There's the one also for domestic animals. And the one that for the bush one. Allah Allah say I'm the one. The one that if they can allow any cow to, to enter this place now, there is a last risk here. A last risk. That is wealth. So the cow, they will finish all the grasses there. But you, you don't need it. Because if you taste it, it's bitter. But anybody will take it and it make, it, make them strong. That's what Allah Allah, Allah is telling you. Not like the way people are doing now. Uh, the people are suffering and somebody you go and buy punch and kill or catch and kill you buy it for his, uh, for, 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 for his dog whereas uh, there are so many people are fasting some people will stay for two three weeks they will, not, they will not even take anything no meat no fish and somebody has in his own freezer the meat and the fish that and different type of fish and different type of maybe chicken and everything that it can take for even more than six months. If one finished, if sometimes they even prepare maybe three, three times for him to choose anyone. And they can eat more than one. And they will, they, will, they will go and trash the remaining one. Dump it, subhanAllah. Inna fi dhalika Allah say indeed. Indeed, if you look and you reflect on all this issue and all what we, we've mentioned, Layatin is a big, is a, is a big ayah. And ayah means sign, a last sign. You know, if you look at some, look at this place before, it, it was very, very dry, just two months ago. Now, see grasses. I don't want to bring them. They are not the one. And now, for you to get Yamna, it will be somehow difficult or very, very expensive. But anything, the next maybe next month or two months, you see yam planted everywhere. Fresh one. Are you the one? Is Allah. Allah SWT said, La ayah is a big sign. The only Noah for those that they have sense. It's not everybody that can understand Allah. If you understand Allah SWT, consider yourself you are one of the most brilliant people. I'm telling you. If you can know Allah, there are so many professors, they don't know anything about Allah. It's a big ayah 
فأول النها Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Minha khalaqanakum We created you people from this earth Wa fiha nu'idukum I will return you back to the same earth Wa minha nukhurijukum taratan ukhra And we will resurrect you people from the same edge on the day of judgment. Look, Allah SWT created our father and every Adam from sand, clay. And we, we are all from clay, I'm telling you. That is the reason anything that you need to eat, to develop, to make, to make you healthy, it must come out from this edge. But if you want to give your soul its food, you must, be, you must connect yourself to Allah. You must watch, connect, connect yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the reason whether you like it or not one day you will die and you will go back to that sun to that they will, they will bury you in your grief and on the day of judgment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will resurrect you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue with the case of uh, Fir'aun. He said, wa laqad arayna wa ayatina kullaha. We've showed Fir'aun all of, all of our ayah, our signs. Fakat daba, but he said it's, it's a lie. He said, no, this one is not for Allah, what are you telling me? He would deny, but he knew, he knew in his own mind. He knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that created Sama and this, but he just wants to show arrogance. Like somebody does not want to accept that you are superior to him. But he knew in his own mind that no, you are his organa. And he showed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala arrogancy. And he rejected Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kala Fran told Musa, Ajitana li tukhurijana ardina. Did you come? here to just hijack our lands and to hijack my authority that's the reason why you are here now you wear you travel and now you study the this in magic and you know how to practice magic now is it this one that you are here musa you want to talk with me you want to confront me you want to tell me that you are so powerful and i know you're a strong magician you want to use your magic musa to send us away from this land, impossible, it will not work. And I say, Valarati and Naka Bisir in Mithli. We we must provide the seer magic similar to your own. Fajal Benana, that is why I said that I'm going to invite. I'm going to invite people, the magician, because there are so many in Egypt, so that they will now come and comfort Musa with their magic. Fajal bayna la wa bayna ka mu'ida la nukhlifu Fra'ana said there's no, no, Allah did not create anybody with 100% uh, evil. Yes. Look at Pharaoh. He says something here very, very important. And we don't use it today. He said, Musa, now, we, I want you to fix a date. The day that you will meet, you will meet with my own magicians. And you will face each other. But more hidden, give appointment and that time, we are not going to dis we not disappoint. Even Pharaoh, he was he's talking, he's emphasizing on trust. That is, I do, and that's what we call Africa time. There's not Africa time, it's Shaitan time. I'm telling you. They say seven people will become nine. It's bad. Even among Muslims, it's even common. Look at uh, on Friday. There's no money, start prayer, 
all major road departments maybe they start maybe one or some, some of them one thirty. You see many people come in quarter to two because he is a guy He doesn't want to come outside prayer and go. He doesn't want to listen. Do you think Imam Imam will do a lot of research? He will draft his own sermon khutbah. He will climb there. Do you think is it because of him? It's because of people that are the attenders, the people that are the members of the masjid. But some of the just call is there. Imam Imam is normally random a quarter to two. We now be rushing. And so that Allah Subhanahu will catch him, hold up our traffic, he will miss a lot. You cannot try Allah now. Fajal bayna na wa bayna ka mu'idan. We will make something to this thing. Uh, uh, trust, so that you say, this time we are meeting and we must meet. La nu khulifu nahanu. Fajal said that we will be not disappoint. Wala anta. And if me as a friend that I'm claiming to be the greatest Lord, if I don't disappoint you, you also don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. Wala anta makan and suwa. So that we will meet in a particular place. In a particular place, we are meeting in this Eagle Square by 9 or by 10 o'clock. That's what Pharaoh and Musa agree on. And Musa did not disappoint, and Pharaoh also did not disappoint. Wallah, if you want to test yourself, whether you are a lost person or you are not, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, once you have a problem with somebody or a problem with somebody when the time is approaching you will not understand yourself you will say let me carry on let me go and fulfill that promise i'm telling you if you, you have reached that level and it, some people are like it doesn't care it's, it's even free but you see him just doing nothing and you will not fulfill you will not even call him that i will say that you should do this and say ah, i'm sleeping La ilaha illallah. if you want to even sleep well, Anabi Ismail, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describing that he can't assert the kalawad, wa can't rasul and nabiya. He said, trustworthy. He doesn't normally keep his own promise. They said there was a day, Anabi Ismail, somebody asked him to come. That is, they have, he has something with uh, another person. And he said, we should meet, like now, we should meet in Otaku Masjid. And Anabi Ismail, came, they say in the morning, Anabi Ismail came in the morning. And he didn't leave the place till sunset. He's waiting for him. Say maybe something happened, maybe something. And the person does not even care about that appointment. He fuck, he doesn't even care again. And the person that came later, he said, Oh, I don't even remember. It's not that I remember he came in the evening. It's bad. And then Musa now used Dawa strategy. Methodology of Dawa. He said, Musa said, I would like us to meet on Salah day. There is a Salah, they call it Zina day. That is one of their Salah, their festivals. That is normally observed then. Musa said that I want us to meet on the Salah day, Salah of Zina. And uh, the reason Musa said so, Musa wants many people to come out. You know Juma prayer. If you want to observe it salat here, you will see crowd. The one that you don't see during Juma day. And the one that you don't see during five daily prayers, you will see. And the one that you don't see in Zoo prayer and Asr, you will see during Isha and Subi prayer, maybe. If Mesha Musa choose Yom Zina, festival day, festival of Zina, that is many people will come out. And they want many people to you, you remember that many people you know that many people will understand what is going on and many people will accept the religion of Musa which is Islam that is the reason why up to this moment the ulama they prefer crowd so that from there many people if you are talking to about three people or two people they may not even get it but at least if you are talking to about 1000 people 100 people there is no way at least 50% will get your message and they will go and deliver they will pass it I want people to gather during the time of Duha. Around uh, maybe just 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. That time that I want people. No too much of sun. And the time will be enough for them. They have three hours, four hours. For do whatever they want to do. Now. 
انت فتولى فرعون عن فرعون تان باك is a deal deal is a deal is a deal that's all you know the way criminals is normally it, it not even talk to Musa it was he listened to Musa and he had him that is we are meeting on festival day Zina day and we are meeting so so time do her time that's all and Fraun left and instantly he start, he start he, he, that very day he started gathering people he started he started maybe gathering many people calling all the magicians Fajama Kaidahu Summa Ata. And he gathered many people, many of uh, uh, Sahara, that is magicians. Some of them, they are, they are even specialists and professionals. Some of them can come to this building. That is his own area of uh, uh, specialization. He can turn to this building. Some of them can turn to elephant. Some of them to snake. Some of them to lion. And he gathered all of them. He said, Musa, because he has seen the one of Musa, that he has only two. He can he drop his own stick, it will turn to a snake, and he put his hand into his own armpit, and it will turn to this light. He said, We know your secret now, no problem. And Fran called out Musa, and before Musa, Musa said, Let me address you people. Fran doesn't have that one because he doesn't believe in Allah. Musa said, Wail akum. Wail is a word of course. La tefteru ala Allah kadiba. Don't fabricate lies against Allah. Don't create lies against Allah. For you hit akum bi azar. And he will surprise people with punishment. Wa qari khaba man iftara. Any way ever fabricate a lie against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Create a lie against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's a loser. Khaba. Fatanaza Amra Beno, he preached to the uh, magicians. Fatanaza Amra Beno, and they now started talking to each other secretly, the magicians. They said, This one is not a magician because a magician doesn't preach. He said, This one is revering us to Allah. He said, We should believe in Allah. He said, A magician doesn't care, he's a kafir. You know, a, mag a magician is a kafir. How come now preaching to us that we should fear Allah? We should not pray, we should not fabricate lies. And indeed, they are liars. Yes. And they use gin. We are sorry, Najwa. And when they just talk, talk, talk to each other, they don't allow anybody to hear them. They don't want people to know. And they've already asked Pharaoh that uh, if we if we, we if we, we win we we win Musa, is it there any uh, compensation compensation or gift for us? Pharaoh said that ah, uh, they just want it. They want to pack all of your wealth and they want people to follow him, follow two of them. And for Ajimi Okaida Kunsuma Summa to it to uh summa to suffa wa kod afla liomani sta ala Iokumu Akimu Amra Kum Azimu Ali Wala Tatanaza U Warmao and Kausu wa Hidatin Summa to il al Maidani Mustafi Liakuna Ahayab fi Sudurina Nadirin. And you people gather your gekaid, all of your this new day, your, your dabara and the logic and the strategy that you want to do today. Somehow to suffer, you people should line up. Whoever be the winner today, he will be the highest person today. All we are Musa, Imma Antulikia, wa Imma Annakuna Awala Man Alka. Man alqa, yes. Awala man alqa. You, Musa, is two things. Will you start to demonstrate to parties your magic, or we will be the first person to demonstrate our own? 
Moses told them there is logic. He said, Bal Alku, people should start. Because you want to see where the, their limit. <laughs> like some rich people in Somali say, if they say donate money, we now allow people to start donation. By the time that they finish everything, and I say, okay, we now look at everybody. I know somebody is normally do that. And I look at everybody. Nobody even raise up to one millionaire among them. Me, I'm giving two millionaire. If people can donate up to two, somebody say, I'm giving two million, I'm giving five million. We say, me, I'm giving five, ten millionaire. You all want everybody to know that it is the highest. And highest, but no reward. But his money will be useful anyway. <laughs> now, he said, you people, do whatever you want to do. I want to see your seal, your magic. Finally, that he bought home, they started, they built some ropes. Someone will release his rope, you will see a snake, taller than this pillar. Just make it scary people. And when you see you, someone will release his stick. Well, there are people of stick. That is the last one that also gave Musa power. If you release his own stick, it will turn to snake. Why you see you is a plural of asa. Plural of stick. That is, a asa is stick. A sin that is sticks. They release everything, they drop everything. And some of them turn to whatever they want to turn to. <laughs> and there are some people up to this moment, they use magic. Somebody can turn to dog, they just say dog in the night. And some cat. And some cow. And some lion. All is all about magic. And a magician is a kafir. Yukhayyaru ilayhi min sihrihim annaha tesaha ordinary rope and ordinary sticks started moving snakes everywhere animals ah and uh, the thing was scared Musa Musa started shaking hey, this one only me there are many and everybody is releasing his own and some some snakes are even were close to Musa <laughs> Musa said hey, today and upon the real, upon the reals and practice that he has released from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before. You know Allah said, drop your stick. And Musa said, that this stick, this small, uh, this small stick, now, what can this small stick do? do, do? Allah, subhanallah. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you Musa, don't fear. Don't fear. Inna ka anta ala, you will be on top of all of them today. You, you are not a magician. You are not kafir. You are prophet and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't kafir. Jibril is with you. I myself am with you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La takhaf. Allah is giving you a guarantee. Like maybe your son wants to participate in a competition and he's afraid that, hey, who will always say, don't worry, you win. You know, that is what we call Tesla. It will give him courage. Allah SWT say, Ya Musa, is the same thing, your stick. Just release that stick. You don't even need to use this one. No, no, that one is extra one. That's your stick. Release it. And that stick turned to a snake. And that snake was, this day, Musa's stick was taken all of their snake. And Musa's stake is not up to their own stake in size. That is another mujiza. Musa's stake just like this. And the two were swallowed in this and all the day they would be big, big snakes. All what they did is kaidu sair is a strategy and logic and the magic of Sahara magicians. And wherever a sire appears, a magician appears, we never succeed. If you see a magician just recite the Kursina, his own gene will disappear and he will fail. Fa Allah Akbar. Fa'ulikiya Saratu Sujjada and all the magicians, when they saw what happened, that the snake of Allah Moses swallow all the snakes of the magicians. Wallah, all of them prostrated for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
قالوا and they said آمنا برب العالمين we believe in the Lord of the world رب موسى وعرون the Lord of Arab موسى and Harun they know you will seek for any there are some things you don't need any permission from anybody if you want to embrace Islam you don't need any permission آمنا برب موسى برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون the Lord of رب العالمين the Lord of universe including you for one talk here talk رب موسى the Lord of universe موسى وهارون and the Lord of universe هارون ابن عباس رضي الله تعالى عنه said in Al Qurtubi he said all of them prostrate prostrated for Allah سبحانه وتعالى and uh, and during their own sojourn, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala showed them their places in Al Jannah. That you people, you are going, you are, you are going to this. No, sorry, Ekrima, Ekrima among Mufasirun. He said when they prostrated, immediately Allah Subhanahu wa Taala showed them their places in Al Jannah. The way many things happen that day, Wala. And uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala showed them their places, and that that will give them courage. That is ah. Uh, uh, even Frauna is even fake. Frauna said that uh, <coughs> Frauna got angry, he, he vowed. He said, I call a man to call Why did you people believe in Fraun before I permitted it? Did I give you people permission? Is your guy, your master, teaching you people say magic? For I will cut you people in pieces. Your hands and your, uh, your legs. The said, if I will cut your left hand and I will cut your right leg. Or I will cut your right leg and I will cut your left hand. I will cut into people's pieces the way I want. The old Amma said, I frown his mouth. You know, I said it yesterday. He just released that word. He himself he was afraid. But he released that word to convince the other people. So that nobody to make them uh, uh, to scare them, so that the other people will not embrace the religion of Arab Musa. But he doesn't know. Well, I will also live on the convict in Nagal, and I will cross for you people with the death of Dabinu. Well, I tell you, I will not shut do other than what I become, and you people will not realize who is more strong. Whether me or Musa, you will know. And immediately asked her that she was under Firauna for a mission from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save Musa. And Musa now he has come with power. Asia also said that no. So one of them said that uh uh Firaun, Firaun treasurer. That is why they keep the key of their banks. He said, ah, they also I want to be lied. Me also, I believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Frans said, you and the prime minister also, Wazir, he also said that I believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, the, his wife, Asia, so she, stu she stood up. She said, me also, I believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Frans got angry. He said, hey, yeah, yeah. You, you will suffer today. He, will, he started with uh, Asia. He said, I will cross fire you before everybody. And when she crossed Asia, Asia was smiling. Because Allah SWT showed her a place in Al Jannah. Ah. He said, Rabbi bin al-Baytan fil Jannah. Ya Allah, build a house for me in Al Jannah. And then me from our money. Save me from evil of Fraun and his own deed, bad deeds. And then Jinni min al-Qawmi Zalimin. Save me from Zalimin. Because Allah SWT showed Asia a house in Al Jannah. And all of them they are ready to die. Abdullah ibn Abbas said that uh, they were magicians in the money. Allah Akbar. Look at Allah's Rahman. That's the reason I don't judge. Don't say this one you end up into hellfire. No matter how, don't say that. Anybody that is still alive, Allah SWT can consider him. And he can bless him. Abdullah ibn Abbas, the master of Mufasiru, the interpreters of Quran, he said they were kufar, magicians in the money. And in the evening, Allah SWT turned them to Shuhada, going to Al Jannah. Say Allah's Rama. The 
they say from up all this uh, treachery and all this thing we don't care all what we have said it will not remove evil single hair from our body we don't care we don't fear you again ah. now we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator do whatever you want to do take a decision that you want to take today we don't care hey Prana was away. Those, those people, before, let me tell you, even in the morning, they cannot even look at Prana's face. They are doing like this. Eh? But instantly everything, the game changed. If you want to kill us, you want to stop us, you want to do anything that you want to do, just do it. We don't care. In the Hayat Dunya, only what you can judge. It's just this dunya. You can do anything that you want to do concerning this dunya. That is all. But hereafter is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is going to judge. And those the, the Sahara magicians, they talk to Musa alayhi salatu alayhi Fraon. They say that uh, in Amanda bi Rabbina, we look at us very well. We believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want him to forgive our sins, our previous sins, what we have done before, the magic. We lie. We will lie. We committed shirk. We committed adultery, anything. We do many things. We do people. Now we just want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sins. And the sir that we demonstrated as a result that you forced us to do that. That we don't want to do that, you forced us to do. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should forgive us. Wallahu khairun wa abiqa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the everlasting Lord. But you, Musa, are you from your, your this end of your kingdom and your authority? He said, No, my yati rabba mujirima. Whoever meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with crimes or as a criminal, as a kafir, Find Allah with Jahannam, indeed there is hellfire for him. Jahannam belongs to that person. Lie more to fear. He will never die in that nar, in that Jahannam, while I is It's between life and death. Allah, that is a hayat like this and the life inside Jahannam. You know, Allah said that Kulla man nadija to Juludu home, but the now Julud and Gaira li Zukula. Each time that their skin has been born, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace them with another skin. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants them to test other punishment. Because the sciences they say that uh, the reason why that you feel pain is this your skin. Once they remove your skin, you won't feel it again. You won't feel it again. That is the reason why some of them will just look at it maybe like this uh, fire of this dunya that once your skin just burnt, that is all. Ah, that one is not like that. Allah SWT will be renewing their skin for them. There is a method of Quran. You know now every one of us will be afraid that oh, hell fire all this thing. And Allah SWT want to make us happy. Allah SWT says, We have met Allah SWT with Iman. Iman of Salat. Iman of Fasting. A man of recitation of Quran, a man of eighty calf, a man of zakawat, zakat, a man of saraka, a man of trust, a man of everything. I'm telling you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Amila Saliha, he has done well. He has done a good job. Faulaika Those people they will be in a high place on the day of judgment. That is in Al Jannah. Most especially Al Jannah to Fredaus. Allah SWT says, let me describe that agenda for you so that uh, you'll be happy and you'll be eager to work for that agenda. Allah SWT says, Jannah for Adin in Tajirim in Tachala Nahar. Is that agenda for Adin, the, the place of enjoyment? Tajirim in Tachala Nahar, wherever you see yourself, in your parlor, in your bedroom, everywhere you will see water. Four types of water. The first one is wine. Halal wine, no, this is a beer that people are taking. Do that. Halal, because it's time that you take it, mashallah, you'll be strong. And you have job, you have you alone. Allah will bless some people with 100 wives. 
If you are facing problem with the one of dunya, don't care, don't care. Just face the one of akhirah. That is the most important thing. Allah, the least in Nigeria, Allah Subhanahu will give you whole in two, two of them. And once the Prophet Muhammad said that if one whole in, one of them can look at this dunya, all the men in this dunya will collapse because of her beauty. I'm telling you, because of her beauty of Orin, everybody, if you see her, that beauty alone, her face alone, it will make you, you will, you will, you will, you will, you will faint. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar, that's what I'm preparing for you people. And many people don't know. There is a wine, halal one, and there is a one of milk, and there is a even pure water. That water, if you take it once, you will never experience any day test in your own life again. And there is one of uh, honey. That is the reason I know sickness in Alger in Algeria. Always you see yourself and you maintain your distance. Always you are fresh and you are young. You won't pass that age of territory. Always. You just maintain every every time. I always see people see your wife says, Ah, you are you are you are looking younger. In this sense, somebody says you are looking for you can Allah, you are dying small small. <laughs> if, if the thing is not appearing on your body, it's appearing inside. I'm telling you. وَقَدْ يَعْمِلَ الصَّالِحَاتِ فَأُولَيْكَ لَهُمْ جَنَّةَ هَذِي تَجْرِ مِنْ تَحْتِ الْأَنْهَارِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا And you will stay there forever. That is the difference between, if you don't know Al-Jannah, that is the difference between enjoyment of this dunya and the one of here after. Wallah, whether you like it or not, you will leave your mansion one day. Whether you like it or not, you will leave your beautiful wife or beautiful wife one day. Whether you like it or not, you will leave that money each amount in your account that you are saving one day. Whether you like it or not, that's your mansion. Wallah, you will leave it. And you know, do you know funniest about it? I'm telling you, even your children, they may not even need that house. They say, this one, we don't need it. It's not up to our test. We need to build another one. And for you to know, you are you living in the house that your father built? You built your own now. Your children, what they will do their own. You that you are rich today. Did you meet any money in your, in your father's account? Or the one that you met that day? Is it up to what you, you have today? It's not. Just prepare for year after. Just take small things from this dunya. I'm not saying that they're having much chance, all this thing. It's not haram. It's a lie. Even Allah SWT wants you to take it. If he give you. It, because I say, the Nima from Allah SWT. But for you to go deeply into worldly things. Always you don't know anything, no time for tafsir, no time for etika, no time for five daily prayers, no time for tajud. Everything falls, falls from Nest to Wonderland, the Millennial Park, everything going to Dubai, UK to go and enjoy. Some of them right there in Dubai now. Because you'll be free to breakfast. Some. And some will travel the other you go to UK. You go very people disrupt in Nigeria. You go and do whatever you like. Very, very bad. Is it this dunya? If you don't know anything about that, is there enough for you? You, there are some people that uh, you, were guided to, uh, you, are, you were graduated together with them. We are there today. There are some people you were born together. You finished primary school with them. We are there today. There are some people that are your age mate. You even married together. We are there today. It means that it's, it's coming back to you. One day also you will live, whether you like it or not. That is a reward for whoever purifies himself. This fasting. The purpose of it is Allah wants Allah to ask you to fast to purify yourself. Wallahi, there are some things that you are doing before. Even the people that normally commit zina, they will tell that somebody told me they normally give them card that till after Ramadan. Where are you going back there to the after Ramadan? Even those who that normally use haram money say, no, 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 we don't want to. Somebody is normally buy a cell phone in the in the filling station. And there is normally adjust that nurse. La ilaha illallah. But during Ramadan, there is someone said, give me this. He said, ah, me, I cannot use this money for myself. And I cannot even give anybody for Saraga. They say, why? He said, because it's not clear. La ilaha illallah. We all know ourselves. He said, that Al-Jannah belong to man tazakka. Whoever purify himself. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for you to purify yourself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will be entitled to Al-Jannah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not a cheater. In Nigeria, if you go to school, no guarantee of getting a job. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you worship Allah, you fear Allah, there is guarantee of Al-Jannah. There is guarantee. No doubt about it. But there are some things in this world, there's not any guarantee. But the one of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very, very sure. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this tafsir as an out of ibadah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our ibadat and forgive our sins and grant our requests. Subhanakallahu wa bihamdik. Nashar an la ilaha illa ant. 
نستكرر ونتوب إليه سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين